This is a cubic boron nitride rod from Spyderco. Uh, basically fits in the SharpMaker sharpening system. I've been carrying it as basically a small utility file because it comes in a little plastic tube. And I've been using it to sharpen uh, utility knife blades that are used by electricians, plumbers, uh, carpenters and various other tradesmen. And the feedback from it was generally relatively positive. So I've done a couple of experiments to look at that and sort of quantify uh, the initial sharpness and edge retention with the cubic boron nitride rods versus the as boxed edge to sharpness uh, and performance that they come with. And I put up a video already on Careboard and I compared the as boxed sharpness and edge retention to a number of other finishes. And the cubic boron nitride rods were comparable both in terms of initial sharpness and edge retention. And I was cutting uh, 1-8 ridge cardboard on a slice through the blade. Now, as a complement to that, when you're talking about edge retention, you want to look at in a number of aspects because uh, edge retention changes depending on what you cut and how you actually cut it. So you can have a blade or a finish which has very high edge retention and sharpness in one application but it could actually be very, very low in another application. So the opposite of slicing is, of course, push cutting. So I wanted to do a push cutting trial of edge retention on a rather hard material that wasn't very abrasive. So that's the complete opposite of looking at sharpness and edge retention on a rather soft material like cardboard, which is abrasive on a slice. So I had a bunch of these, uh, and these are basically screw ties. They're used to hold in screws for uh, strip runs, for commonly used around here for stand-up uh, screw guns, screw-off floors, commonly used. Uh, they're basically like zip ties, uh, they're relatively heavy, kind of annoying to cut up because when the screws come out they leave all these little barbs uh, hanging off it. Uh, they should be very easy to cut uh, with a knife, so again they're thicker than uh, standard zip tie. And you cut them basically on a push, like that. You can't really slice it like a piece of rope because it's hard plastic of course so you just push right through it so planned a relatively simple experiment just cut up a whack of these screw ties with the as boxed edge resharpen it at 15 degrees per side with the cubic boron nitride rods measure the sharpness and edge retention and compare so the initial sharpness was lower with the cubic boron nitride rod finish. That wasn't surprising. Again, I'm doing a push cut. There's almost no draw, just a straight push. So sharpness for push cutting is very different than sharpness for slicing. So when you're sharpening for push cutting, you want essentially the finest grit finish that you can have. So of course the cubic boron nitride rod's relatively coarse finish, so the sharpness on a push is relatively low. So I expected that, no big surprise. It's always nice, of course, to actually do the experiment and confirm what you think. I was, however, surprised that the actual edge retention was higher with the cubic boron nitride rod finished than the Asbox finished. And the difference was so significant that by the time I had cut a thousand of these little pieces, the sharpness was comparable between the cubic boron nitride rod blade and the one that still had the as box finished. So it was actually starting to catch up. Now I stopped at a thousand cuts because I only had so much of the material and I needed to repeat everything a few times uh, to make sure if it was stable. But it looked like that if I had to keep cutting with it, the cubic boron nitride rods would have overtaken the as box finished and had a superior edge retention in the long term. As a side note, a lot of people complain about cutting up zip ties and other hard plastic and saying that it chips edges and uh, dents them and does all that kind of stuff. Again, I had to cut a thousand pieces of this to produce pretty much any effect on the edge and even after cutting a thousand pieces the edges would shave in all cases. But the interesting thing is the edges that were as boxed that had it sort of high polish that they come with was actually less durable. I did four runs with the as box finished. 
Two of them had rather significant damage in that you could see it by eye, see the light reflecting. You couldn't see anything if you turned it sideways like that. I'm not talking about large ships or rolls, the kind of things that you feel and see. I'm just talking about I could see significant light reflecting from the edge. One of the runs with the as box finished had sort of matter and one of it had very light. I only had enough material to do two runs with the cubic boron nitride rod finish and they produced almost no damage whatsoever, no effect whatsoever. One run made no difference. The edge looked identical after doing a thousand cuts as it did when it started and one just had two barely little spots on the edge that I could see like a little bit of light reflecting. So the long term edge retention looked to be significantly better with the cubic boron nitride rods. If I had to continue cutting past a thousand cuts I think it would have overtaken the Asbox edge. Now that's not immediately obvious as to why that would be the case because again you're doing push cuts push cuts performance tends to get better as you give it a higher polish. There's a couple of reasons though why this might not be the case here. One of it could simply be that the as box edges are slightly overheated which is very common. The other one is that there's a slight angle difference. The as box edge is around 12 to 13 degrees per side. The edge I was putting on with the cubic boron nitride rods was 15 degrees per side standard sharp maker setting. So that extra couple of degrees could have gave it another uh, bit of durability which could have stopped those little dents and rolls that I was getting with the as boxed edge. Mike Swaim used to do a lot of cutting comparisons and talk about them on the news group Rec.Knives. One of the things that he often saw and talked about he did a lot of work with coarse finishes, was that he thought and had observed coarse finishes doing better in areas that you would think polished edges would perform well. And he attributed it to the fact that the coarse edges would bite into the material and wouldn't slip and that biting in made it more stable. So even though you're doing basically what you think is a pure push cut, there's always going to be, if you look at the knife on a very small scale, there's all going to be always kinds of twisting motions and everything. Because again, now the edge is very small. It's on the size of a micron. Very, very small. So any movement of the knife at all looks huge on the scale of the edge. So what Mike thought was happening was that a coarse edge, because it has all those little teeth, would bite into the material and wouldn't be as, have that much tendency to slip and move around. Interesting idea. Now, uh, I get this is obviously garbage, of course. Like I said, it's just what's left over after uh, using um, strip screws. If I get a bunch of it again uh, in the future, and I need quite an amount of it, as you can see, I had to do uh, 6,000 cuts to even do a sort of basic comparison. But if I get a pile of it again, I'm going to do another few experiments, pick up another uh, pack of these Stanley blades, and look at the Asbox performance again. And what I'm going to do, obviously the first thing, is use the cubic boron nitride rod finish and match the angle exactly. Give it the exact same 12 to 13 degree per side and that way you take the angle change out of it and see what kind of performance uh, that I actually get then. But the main question that I want to answer, and this is very critical, a lot of times people don't sort of understand uh, experiment at even at a fundamental basic level. Um, what I was trying to do here was just answer the question um, could you use the cubic boron nitride rods to sharpen these utility blades and give uh, a sharpness and edge retention comparable to the Asbox finished for the tradespeople? And the answer seemed to be yes from what the tradespeople were saying. And the answer is very obviously yes from the corresponding experiments that I've done cutting cardboard and plastics. Uh, so both on uh, slice and on uh, almost 100% of push cut, they were um, comparable in uh, edge retention and the initial sharpness was decent on the push cut and comparable on the draw cut. So, interesting little tool to carry around as a sort of file or sharpening device even if you look at it outside the sharp maker itself, it might be something uh, interesting to pick up. Now. The other thing that I will say about uh, cubic boron nitride rods and how I actually use them, a couple of people have wondered what the markings mean down on the bottom because I have numbers wrote uh, on the rods. Well essentially 
these rods only have abrasive essentially on the top surface. They're not like a stone which is abrasive all the way through. This is just a coating that's put on it. So you have one layer of abrasive and when that abrasive wears off, wears down rather, that's it, you're done. So what I've done is I've marked uh, the edge that I'm using. Just call that number one. And I've put an arrow towards the corner that I'm using. And I only use this side and I only use that corner. And what that allows me to do basically is use that corner and this side for a significant amount of time. Then I can switch to another corner and another side which is still has almost the as boxed aggression and then I can compare so I can see how this wears in time. So that's a curious little thing that I'm doing just for the sake because I'm curious about it. But from a practical point of view, you should do that as well. Because what you will have then, as you use this and this wears down, it starts to produce a finer finish as it loses aggression. So at some point in time you'll find it's not cutting fast enough for you anymore and you switch to another side. So this side now has the as box finish, but this side has a finer finish. So it starts off as coarse all the way around. But if you use just one side, eventually that will drop to about a medium. Then you go to this and you use that as your course. And you use this as your medium. So after you're finished with your course, you jump to your medium. Use that before you jump to the ceramic stones. Then after you use this for quite some time, it starts to drop down. It becomes your medium. You jump to the other side, which is your course. And now the first side, you're still continuing to using that, has dropped to your fine. So you end up with a fine, medium, and coarse grit cubic boron nitride rod. And of course you can do that with any sort of stone, not just with a sharp maker stone. But it's just how you actually use them, so that's just a little tip.